And it's a moment in the film where this character changes from, becomes a completely different character. Yeah. It's a key moment. In the yeah, film. if you haven't seen the movie, I mean, it's uh, when, when the kid um, is looking at his father, you can see that he's seeing a completely different man that he's never yeah. seen before. And uh, that's what I needed from Vigo, is somebody who could play Tom Stahl and Joey. They're two different guys. I mean, they're the same guy, but there's a secret life that's revealed in the movie. But I should watch out with the notes. <clears throat> I should watch out with the giving the notes. That is, if I want to work with someone other than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Actually, Tom and I got along okay, but Joey was... <laughs> <laughs> Joey didn't give many notes. Then. No, he didn't give notes. That's because he was illiterate. But, uh, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, uh, and, and, uh, and also, um, Joey is dangerous, and you have to have someone who can look at, uh, at Harris and suddenly be a real threat to him, you know, and you can see that in that scene. Um, and, and so there are a lot of actors that can't do that, you know, and, um, both the physically and just the emotionally. There's a lot of, anyways. So it looks like a pretty good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Vigo, to prepare for a scene like that, I mean, do you do any special preparation at all? Is it just like all so natural? The voice part, the eyes, you know, the steely look in the eye. I mean, David's camera moves into, it's a key moment. I think you have to trust what the, what the scene's about. I mean, we talked a lot before we started shooting the movie, so we sort of got to know each other on the phone and, and then, I mean, David doesn't rehearse, and, but you can talk together about what you're planning to do. And, and I remember <clears throat> before we started shooting, that was, that was a scene, that was a part of the movie where we knew there had to be some sort of transition. But it's not a specific thing, it's just you know that that has to be there. But it's not just there. I think when, <clears throat> what's really good about the, the script, the way it ended up being in the movie, is that when you watch it a second time, you're looking for little glimmers of Joey much earlier mm -hmm. than that, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And that was fun and playing. I remember a lot of times after we do a take in other scenes, you know, early on, where you were gauging, okay, let's not let it out yet. That's too much, or that's too little. It was very, it was very subtle a lot of times, and you would, you would say, no, let a little bit more out there, or that's too much, I don't want to see anything there. You know, it would be those kinds of notes, and it was a, it, it was fun imagining what it would be like seeing it a second time. You know, I mean, I don't usually, I don't know about you, but I don't usually, when I'm working, I'm not thinking, well, the audience will like this or they won't like it. You're just trying to tell the story as truthfully as you can. I, I guess we were speaking about, for us, seeing it a second time. That's right. As much as anything, you know, it's like the second time watching this, you're going to see it. You probably won't see this, that, or that the first time. Although you may notice something that's a little off, you know, it's like too perfect or something, too nice, too something. But you got to be careful, it can't be too much, you know, and you need someone who can guide you through that. If you're doing it on your own, you probably overdo it or underplay it sometimes. But David was great that way, that's how we sort of made that character work and his relationship with other people, particularly with Maria Bello's character, it was just fine-tuning how much to reveal. Very rarely did you say, well, let's do one of each to have the option. You knew when you were doing it, you know, what you wanted to have. I couldn't afford to do two. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, it, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a, a hidden life. The story is about a man who is exposed because of an incident uh, and uh, to publicity because of a violent thing he does in defense of his family and, and, uh, and then his criminal past is revealed, and you realize he's a completely different person. And uh, when the audience comes to that, we, we wanted them t to say, oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want them to not be surprised at the same time. So it's a really t fine little tightrope, and every moment in the film, we had to decide, you know, what, what do we see here of Joey in Tom Stahl?